been a minute. Maybe a week and a half. Maybe it's been forever. I don't know. I keep getting those confused. Flashback Xanadu. Greetings. Good evening. How you doing? Live from the Beyond Ringside Studios in beautiful Birmingham, Alabama. One more run, so to speak, for the BR Studios as we know it right now. This is Global Championship Wrestling's GCW Radio. The Magic City Motormouth GCW Commissioner. Fast Eddie Lane, live in the vault right now, welcoming in tag team partner, the one, the only, the Mad Dog, Dan Sawyer. Daniel, how you doing, brother? No more fapping. It's time. <laughs> the week of global warfare. Oh, 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 oh. And allow me to say the current and reigning GCW heavyweight champion. Oh, 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 oh. Figured they'd get another bark out of the deal. Cool, works for me. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the panel this evening, he is, as the name implies, out of control. Welcome Jake Cole to GCW Radio. Crank it, crank it. You can either fap it up, fap it down, fap it soft, or fap it loud. <laughs> Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no, look at that booty. Okay. My brain goes back to 80s and 90s hip-hop. What can I say? <laughs> to me, little Belle Bill DeVoe. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> There is still nothing like Bell Biv DeVoe. I mean, you've had a lot of groups go up and down the pike, but they they just had a chemistry. Of course, that's that's that whole new edition thing. That was a reunion tour I actually wouldn't have minded going to. Well, talk about chemistry. Team GCW has got chemistry. We were working out for two and a half hours today. We've been preparing for this match May 25th, Pell City Civic Center, Global Warfare. Ah! Hey, uh, we, we all got in the ring this afternoon. Mr. O'Hagan was not with us, but Cody O'Connor, Jeremy Foster, Showtime, Shane Fox, Out of Control, Jake Cole. We were in the 18-foot ring just preparing. We just had some of the new guys just come at us. We just grabbed them, and we yanked them. We cranked them. We prepared for every scenario <laughs> it possibly happen this coming Saturday. <laughs> when they put the steel... 16-foot steel cage around that ring at the Pell City Civic Center, 7.30 bell time. When the bell rings for whom the bell tolls, it's going to be tolling for the team of the underground. Ball. Yeah. Forget that. Here comes Mongo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we laugh, we joke, we cut up, especially in circumstances like this. We all enjoy doing the radio product, and we're thankful for everybody who is listening so far. Tell your friends, GCW Radio is back and better than ever, and twice as insane as you'll ever remember it. But you know something? We all know that it's going to be serious this coming Saturday night, May 25th, Pell City, Alabama, the Pell City Civic Center, Global Warfare. Folks, for those who have attended previous editions of Global Warfare, you know that there are three words that come into play. Anything can happen. And this one, it has gone past professional. And I do have to maintain a certain level of decorum and professionalism because of the fact that I am the commissioner. But by the same token, I'm sitting back and I'm looking at this. It's gone past professional. Team GCW, we have been blindsided. We have been choked out. We've been double team, triple teams, five on one, six on one. And some would say that it's giving us a taste of our own medicine. Well, you know something? There's a bitter pill that swallow every once in a while, and I think the underground may be finding out that Team GCW is not going to roll over and play dead. We are not going to step out of the way and say, here, why don't you just go ahead and do this? That ain't going to happen, kids. <laughs> Plain and simple. This coming Saturday night, May 25th, six on six, cage elimination, Team GCW. We are going to be there with bells on. I am going to be on the sidelines watching this match, calling the action. But you know that my heart is going to be inside that steel cage right along with Team GCW. Micah Taylor has been shooting his mouth off up one side and down the other, all the way across the continental United States. You've got the new sensation, Stephen Stiles, more arrogant than ever, cockier than ever. Future so bright, he's got to wear shades. Exactly. KCP, Xander Stone, Koontz. You know, recently in Palmerdale, 
I tried to have a serious discussion with them as it's coming because I was trying to do an interview, getting ready to head for global warfare. They've lost their minds. And you know something? I don't know about you guys, but I like it that way. Go ahead and get crazy. Get nuts. As Jake would say in a different tense, get crunk. And I ain't talking crunk juice wicked nemesis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like them crazy, though. I want to be so crazy. Because I got something even more crazy for him. It's going out of control. Now, Jake, I've got to do this. This is the first time that we've had you on GCW Radio. Glad you could finally make it on board. Showtime Shane Fox is scheduled to be joining us a little bit later. Mr. O'Hagan is scheduled to be joining us a little bit later. Now, with the way that everything has taken place, as we get everything lined up for May 25th, I know because of conversations you and I have had, you understand the gravity of the circumstance. You understand how crazy this is going to be. And you've made it even clear, you've made it perfectly clear on Facebook and on the social media sites that this is not going to be a match for the weak at heart. That this is going to be a match. If you want to see a war, this is your type of match. Correct, Jake? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, let me, let me go back to something you said just a little while ago. Let me go back. You said something about a bitter pill to swallow. Well, truth is a tough pill to swallow, and the truth is, they're going to be swallowing blood and spitting it up at the same time come Saturday night. I'm talking to you, turtle head. You're trash. I'm going to break your back. Now, I've got to say this, because you have been one of the forerunners, taking it directly to Micah Taylor. Taylor tries to play intimidation games. He tries to play mind games. And you're matching him move for move. Is there anything in particular about Micah Taylor that has just totally set you off? Hmm. What has not set me off about this guy? He walks around with a little blonde streak in his hair. Oh, he's a superstar. Look at him, everybody. He's all tanned up, walking around with Tracy. Look at me. I'm something special. Everybody in your group is a lap dog, son. Yeah, I can talk to him like that because I don't respect him. Never have, never will. And when this, when this whole battle ends... Now, knowing Team GCW and all the members, Jake, when everything started to fall into place and everything started to go absolutely off the chart crazy, did you think in your wildest dreams when you first signed on with Global Championship Wrestling that you would be in the middle of a six-on-six cage elimination, a war like people are going to see this Saturday night in Pell City? I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea when I walked into this business and into this company that I'd be coming into something like this. But I think Jake Cole came at the right time and the right guys we formed we formed the perfect team. I was just a perfect addition to this team. Because I'll do some stuff that the other guys won't do. I'll take the underground to the freaking limit. And I'm going to push them to that point. I'm going to push them to the brink of reason. And I'm going to see if they can hang on for their life from that dangling from that cliff. And see if they can handle what will bring it to them. Because somebody's getting fast on and somebody's getting swapped down. Mad Dog. We have seen cage matches. We have seen I quit matches. Dog collar matches. It's beyond personal. I've called Team GCW versus the Underground. I've called Mad Dog Dan Sawyer versus Micah Taylor a blood feud. To say it's personal would be a gross underestimation of the circumstance as we all know it. 
how ready are you for this Saturday night in Pell City? Well, I sat down with my granddad today, and I told him I was having a cage match. He's a survivor of Pearl Harbor. And uh, now when he first heard I was doing he's 82 years old, he was he was thinking I was doing an MMA fight. I said, no, granddad, it's, it's me in a steel cage versus these guys. Some of them's from Georgia, some of them's from Hawaii, and there's six of them. And he had a shocked look on his face. And he said, son, you got to be careful. I said, oh, no, granddad, I'm not going in alone. I'm going into battle with some soldiers that I know have got my back, my front, my side, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. They've they trained in the Mad Dog's House of Pain. They're ready. We're mentally and physically sure. ready. We're so we're so wound up tight, I'm telling you. It's going to be hard sleeping all the way up until Saturday. I've been getting like two or three hours a night just because I just wake up a cold sweat thinking I'm in that cage, and I've got my hands around Micah's neck, or I've got my hands around Koontz, or I'm cracking the paint on that Xander Stone as he sits there and laughs while I'm going to hit him, and I'm going to hit him, and I'm going to hit him again until he stops laughing. It's like that little laughing box in the back. <laughs> and I push the little button. He just keeps pushing it. He just keeps pushing it until you don't laugh no more. We'll see who's laughing Saturday night when GCW has its hand raised in that cage. And, you know, we got the political side covered with you, Eddie. We know you got our back from the board of directors, the people who say, oh, this, this match is too violent. Oh, this family organization can't handle this. Well, let me tell you, the phone, the email, the Facebook say different. People are ready for us to take the underground out of professional wrestling forever. They're sick and tired of the pompous, we're better than you. Our T-shirts cost 5 to $10 more than yours. GCW, we're so much better than you. Well, we'll see what happens Saturday night. In Pell City at the Civic Center for Global Warfare number three. You know, the first one, the main event was Carlito and Micah Taylor. That was three years ago. That drew well. But last year, last year, I quit match. Yep. Where I made Micah Taylor say, I quit in the middle of the ring with a chain wrapped around his neck. After six or eight chair shots, we're both covered in blood. It was not a fun sight for people. But the reaction of the 600 plus that were there that rejoiced. They didn't just scream and holler. They rejoiced when Micah said, I quit. But they're nothing. That's not going to be nothing. The people who stand up, cheer, and scream, G C W. G C W. G C W. The 300 has nothing on the fire and desire of these five other men that get in there. The six men that walk into that cage, it's just going to be a rage in a cage, and it's going to be raining blood like that Slayer song. Ah. A day without blood is like a day without sunshine. And I never thought that I would be in a match fighting a guy who has made me bleed more than the damn Red Cross. <laughs> it's happening one more time. My mom says, hello, oh, my poor baby. I, I, I'm tired of your face looking like that. I'm tired of you and these scars. 23 years of wrestling. Well, let me tell you, in the last three years, Micah Taylor has scarred this head. But there's some ladies who think my head looks pretty, and there's some ladies who love me, and there's... One mama who loves me, mama dog, it's going down. She says she can't handle it. She can't handle coming to Pell City. Well, I'm going to call her. <laughs> Brother Tate says somebody better call his mama. I'm calling mine right after we beat the underground this Saturday night at the Pell City Civic Center. Oh, You've got speaking brutal truth and he's shooting from the hip. Yeah. 
Folks, there are a lot of combustible elements involved in this match, and we're going to discuss this match and all the goings-on for Global Warfare 3 in just a couple of minutes. We're going to a quick one right here on GCW Radio. Hang tight. Apache the Hundra. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Welcome back into GCW Radio live on a Sunday night going at 24 after the top of the hour. Fast study lane behind the control panel. Mad Dog Dan Sawyer. Out of control. Jake Cole. Glad to have y'all back on board, guys. I want to remind everybody to keep your eyes and ears open. Eyes especially on GCWPro.com. Your home for all things global championship wrestling. And of course, you can find us in two places over on Facebook. Facebook.com slash GCWPro is our friends page. Facebook.com slash Wrestling is our Facebook fan page. So you can like us on Facebook and definitely be our friend on Facebook and find us at GCWPro Wrestling. One word, run it all together over on Twitter. Folks, we talk about combustible elements in play this coming Saturday night. Pell City, Alabama at the Pell City Civic Center Global Warfare 3. One of those combustible elements that will be a part of Team GCW in the main event, the cage elimination match. I hear the music. I almost really want to do the full-scale intro. Back it up back then. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Kind of like you say, Jake Cole's three, um, named three times fast on another um, radio show. He shows up. Ladies and gentlemen, we play the music. He comes in. Mr. O'Hagan, welcome to GCW Radio. Hello, GCW Radio. <laughs> Glad to have you on board tonight, man. I'm glad you could have me. And I was trying to figure an easy way to fade out of that song, but the media player wouldn't let me do it the easy way. So, of course, I have to do things the hard way. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I like the hard way. That's the way to live. Exactly. Yeah. Now, O'Hagan, coming into it this Saturday night, it's all on the line. Six-on-six six cage elimination challenge. We have had a chance to talk to Mad Dog about it. We've talked to Jake Cole about it. I want to get your perspective, A, on Team GCW and all the elements that are in place and on the underground and the possible game plan that they may have coming into the show. Uh, well, as far as GCW goes, I know that we definitely have the experience. If you, you add up all the years... And we've been, you know, bleeding and sweating for the fans compared to the underground. We definitely have the experience edge. Um, I also definitely think that we have an energy level that they can't match with a high definition and with uh, Showtime Shane Fox. And, of course, you got Bernie, Jake Cole, me, and Mad Dog. I mean, these are, these are energetic people that are just busting at the seams at all times. I mean, I don't mean just in the ring. These are these are people who live in the fast lane. These are people who always, always are what you see in that ring. And uh, I, I think that alone is going to give us an edge. Also, I can't speak for the other gentlemen, but I can say this. You know, you've heard me say I'm going to out-wrestle someone. Or you, you hear me say I'm coming to fight. This is beyond fight. This is a cage. This is something that is going to push us in a way that a lot of us have never been pushed before. This is going to be beyond wrestling, beyond fighting. This is going to be just a war. And it's going to be something that you probably don't want to miss. Even if you're there, you don't want to blink. So keep your eyelids open, prepare for some action, and just bring some plastic on pretend you're going to a Gallagher show. <laughs> God, you gave me a major flashback there. <laughs> I appreciate it too. Thank you. Now, Not a as it pertains to the underground, we've made it clear. This has gone past professionalism. This has gone past personal. And to say that team GCW versus the underground is a blood feud is a pure underestimation of the situation. How would you put it in perspective? Um, uh, oh, this is a good one. If I was going to put it in perspective, I hear an echo. That's weird. Jake, come off speakerphone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I really do think that if you look at it like this, um, someone stabs you in the back. That's bad. 
but somebody stabs you in the back, they turn around, they stab you in the front, then they stab you in the side. And that's what the underground's been doing to GCW. They, it's, it hasn't just been one assault. It's been one after another, after another, after another. And there's only so much that you can take before your natural instincts kick in for survival of just wanting to protect something that you hold so dear. Uh, they think they can come in and they can just, you know, do whatever they want with something that a lot of us have helped build. They think that they can just come in and do whatever they want and they can, you know, disrespect whoever they want. And they think that they just have the world on a silver platter. Well, you know, there might be some silver spoons involved, but they're not going to be going in their mouth come Saturday night. I promise you that. This is something where they have just poked and poked and poked and poked. And you poke a, you poke a bear with a short stick, you're probably not going to be skipping out of the woods. That's all I'm going to say. Oh! Wow! Team GCW, more than ready for this Saturday night. Global Warfare 3. Now, I want to ask, and I know I, I want to get a different perspective on this. Dan, I know that you and Micah Taylor have had wars inside the ring. One-on-one, -on -one, tag team, all of the above. If there's one member of the underground who really needs to be worried that you're going to get your hands on them Saturday night, who would that be? <laughs> you know, the guy who's not even going to probably be in the cage, that'd be J.J. Boom Boom Tanner. That's one guy that better worry. You know, I'm going to do things to him that x Lax does to people. And except I'm not going to feed him something. He's just going to be, like, having a disadvantage. I'm going to knock him so flat he's got to roll down his socks to take a dump. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crack his sunglasses, those mirrored sunglasses. If you want to be on chips so bad, son, just go back and get your Hulu working and look up the 1978 edition of chips. Because it's going to be, you're going to need more than seven Mary three after I'm done with you. And I ain't talking about the rock band. We're talking about good old John Punch Chips. Except you know we're near California. you right there in St. Clair County. Better call them law dogs. But the good thing is, they like the mad dog. The mayor likes the mad dog. The chief police likes the mad dog. And they don't like the underground. So, you know, boys, where you where you think you're going to sleep that night? You think you're going to go back to the hotel and curl up with Wendy and Carol over at the Sonic. Maybe they'd give you a couple of you know, chili dogs or something like that. You know, it, you ain't even going to want to have a celebration dinner after this thing. It's going to be like, you better eat you something real good Friday night because that could be your last supper. Jake Cole, I know that you have had words with Micah Taylor. You've also had an encounter, I do believe, with uh, Spiral. Who are you most looking forward to getting your hands on Saturday night? The one I'm looking most forward to? Is that what you're asking me? Yeah. It doesn't matter which one I want to get my hands on. Because here's the fact of the matter. All their fraudulent wins, all their sealed and secure victories, by all their cheating ways, all their freaking hogwash, giving us the roundabout. We're about to set the virus up. We're about to make some rash <laughs> decisions. Because the cat's off the back now, my team has a commitment to excellence. You hear me, Eddie? Yes, I do. Because I'm sick of the the unethical and the moralist. Is that even the word moralist? Immoral. Cool. <laughs> I'm just trying to have parasitic ways that all a bunch of crap. Yes, man, that's all they are. And that JJ cost me my handicap match the other night. And also the child, anybody can throw a drop kick. Nothing makes you special. And that spray you use, that little perfume you use, it smells like crap. Just like the underground, the coalition of crap. So bring your own dollars because the forecast says it's a hundred percent check to rage on Saturday night in Pell City. <sighs> Steve Styles has got that can of Sex Panther he carries around, and he thinks it works. How much? What's the percentage of that O'Hagan he thinks it works? Uh, I believe that 80% of the time, it works every time. It kind of stings the nostrils, though. <laughs> I can tell it smells like pure <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> it smells like Bigfoot. 
It's really stinky as far as saying Steve Styles. Stinky Styles, that's what we're going to call it. Stinky Styles. Oh, Hot Ice just got the idea for the sign, I know. Mm-hmm. Well, what that, is a coon? I, I want to know what a coon is. Where, does, where does the coons originate? Is that like the honey badger? <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he's no honey badger. I promise you that. Well, where, does, where does the coons come from? I mean... Uh, Xander comes from fun land, uh, strange, strange lands, lands, whatever, bad lands. Strange hey, lands. He Fine comes land. from the strange lands. I come from the bad lands. That's what it is. I come from the bad lands. And, uh, you know, these boys, you know, get, get your underground work in, you know. Go running up and down the street. You know, we've been in the hot field training. So we cut the air condition off. You know, there was enough sweat poured out today. You guys ain't worked that hard in your whole life. You know, J. Cole was glistening. He looked like Big Daddy, D.O.C., Doc, Luke Gallows covered in baby oil. <laughs> they wasn't no baby oil applied in the training center today. He was glistening. Ain't nobody yeah, going to get their hands on me. <laughs> Real quick, O'Hagan, I know that you have had go-rounds with every member of the underground. What one are you looking forward to most getting your hands on? Huh. Well, I enjoy really hurting all of them. I'm going to say Koontz. Because Koontz took himself a little vacation. He just wanted to go off and, you know, apparently he was on a gardening tour of the Northeast or something, planting tulips. And, uh, now that he's back in town, he thinks he can just be like, hey, look at me. Watch me grab these coattails and ride into a big man. No, 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 no. As much as I'm going to enjoy snapping and popping different limbs on each member of that underground team, I'm going to have coots. Probably in a hover round, turning on a dime by the time he was done with this match. Making the reference real quick, Global Warfare is this Saturday, May 25th, Pell City, Alabama at the Pell City Civic Center. Bell time is going to be 7.30 p.m. Tickets are only. $10. I was wondering who's going to jump on the queue that time, Norm. <laughs> Be sure to keep your eyes open. GCWPro.com is going to have updated information as well as our social networks. Also, coming up that evening, by the way, before I go any further, I'm going to call out one little fact. Out of the different people that the three of you have mentioned, is there any possibility, O'Hagan, that the three of you might be underestimating Spiral? Spiral. Oh, I don't ever underestimate Spiral. I mean, he's... uh. He's a talented guy. I mean, he, he is. I mean, he, he's, he's been studying with Micah, and I give him credit. He is a very talented individual. So I don't underestimate him at all. And I guarantee you, as soon as he comes, steps foot into that cage, he'll probably be the first person that I snap in half. There's no going to be running out of the ring and sitting in the front row and and buying your time and trying to trying to confuse anyone and running away. There's there's no uh, there's no timeouts. There's no crying in baseball and there's no timeouts in a steel cage. He is the boxcar Willie of the underground. He look he dresses like a hobo. He wrestles in Chuck Taylor Converse. He wears blue jeans with patches on it. He wears a bandana around his neck like he's going to rob the stagecoach down at the uh, Yuma 410, 420, whatever. <laughs> now, put that on your damn head, son, and quit throwing them gang signs. I think he's just trying to do sign language, but he just didn't get educated enough. It's going to be hard to throw <laughs> signs and jump up and do them high kicks and try to look like Jean Claude Van Damme when you got a broke leg, you know? That's, that's the thing. We're, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep you grounded. We're going to ground you. You're, there's going to be a no-fly zone in that cage. You know, you think there's going to be a big, black, dark cloud overhead? Well, guess what? As J. Cole says, the 
there's a hundred percent chance of blood. I don't think that you know he's raised in Bosnia, and you know there's a lot of fighting in his country. Well, you're in the United States, man. You know we're we're here. We've been fighting our whole life too. So I, I don't disrespect you, but you know I'm tired of you picking apart everything in professional wrestling. How you think you're the greatest thing since the top turnbuckle? You know we know what we're doing, and we know how to fight. And Saturday night, that's what we're coming to do. Oh, I respect man. you as an individual, but I'm telling you, you're stepping into the cage. It's war. You know, this ain't this ain't old Mad Dog's first steel cage. He's been in a cage before many, 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 many times while you were still cutting your teeth over there crapping yellow across the nation. <laughs> Folks, hang tight. We're going to the break real quick. We'll be back in three right here on GCW Radio. A gorgeous Sunday night, and I get to actually start saying Summer Sunday Night all over again. Hmm. As long as you don't ask me to say Summer Sizzler Series, I don't know why that just seems to stick in my mind every once in a while. Welcome back into GCW Radio, live on a Sunday night, going at 14 minutes before the top of the hour. Fast Study Lane, Mad Dog Dan Sawyer, Out of Control, Jake Cole, and Mr. O'Hagan. All a part of your Sunday evening, for which we thank you for letting us be a part of your Sunday night. Folks, real quick, mark your calendars, make your plans. It is going to be... Saturday night, May 25, in the Pell City Civic Center, Global Warfare 3. We've spent a lot of time talking about it because everything is in place. And before we go any further, I want you to think about something. You've got a six-on-six cage elimination challenge featuring Team GCW and the Underground. I want you to break it down like this. KCP in high definition, Coots, Xander Stone, Jeremy Foster, Cody O'Connor, all a part of cage elimination. You've seen what these four can do in a tag team match. Aiden Solo, Showtime Shane Fox, you've seen them in action. Out of control, Jake Cole. Steve Stiles. That in and of itself would be a marquee matchup. Spiral and O'Hagan is a marquee matchup. Micah Taylor and Mad Dog Dan Sawyer, marquee matchup. Any one of these matches that I've just listed, any one of these five possible matches, is a pure marquee matchup anywhere in the world of professional wrestling. But in this circumstance, in this case, you've got 12 people getting ready for, I'm sorry, the word war has been so played in this circumstance. Armageddon couldn't even touch what's going to happen. Whew. The apocalypse, no, no reflection of Howard C. Cross and Team Apocalypse, rest in peace on that concept, can't touch as a word or a euphemism this Saturday night in Pell City. I've heard the term raining blood. Folks, this may not be for the weak at heart, but it damn sure is for real wrestling fans. Because you have got some of the most physically gifted athletes all set and ready for battle in the main event this Saturday night in Pell City for Global Warfare 3. $10? That's all the tickets are. (laughs) You try getting a good deal on entertainment for $10 a person these days? That ain't going to happen. And this is not the only match on the card. And there is no guarantee how long this match is going to go because you've got 10, 11, yeah, different possibilities and entrances. So you know that it's going to be a match that is not going to be over in the blink of an eye. Unlike some UFC main events, unlike some boxing main events, this main event is going to give you your money's worth and then some. In addition... 90-minute time limit. I will throw my watch at the metal door on the side of the building. <laughs> at 89 seconds and 89 minutes and 59 seconds. In addition to the action that is going to take place 
in the main event at Global Warfare 3. Uh, Mad Dog, come on board for a second because you actually had a chance to speak to the president earlier today and you've got one that I don't have. Yep, uh, at the Equalizer taking on the Nasty Critter, Antonio Garza, Latino Sensation, taking on Mudbone, uh, Scotty Blaze versus Johnny Swinger, Chris Jacobs versus Russian War Machine, GCW Tag Team Championship, the Unlucky Charms versus Full Throttle, Joey Lightning and Trevor Eon, and, uh, of course, the 12-man Elimination Steel Cage. You got to be tap out, knock out, or pinfall. Ain't nobody running out over the top and getting away and all that stuff and going through the door. 90-minute time limit. First time ever in wrestling history. 90-minute time limit. Hey, you got 24 minutes of entrances, 12 men coming to the ring every two minutes. So you got 24 minutes of that. You know, Hot Ice called me. He wanted us to bust through a sign like it was a football game. I was like, Ice, let me tell you, my friend, it's going to be one man at a time joining in. You know, it, it may be the, the draw is perfect, and it's a three-on-one situation. Could you imagine three members of GCW, the GCW soldiers? If three of us get a hold of one member of the underground, it's going to be like a vulture-feeding friend on the side of the interstate, some park <laughs> laid there, nothing but bones. Bones and boots. That's what's going to be left. Bones and boots. Unless it's spiral, then it's going to be bones and Chuck Taylor Converse tennis shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to use those Converse laces to cross my canine teeth. Ugh. Gentlemen, I've got to pose this one to you. A person who refers to himself as the puppet master in global championship wrestling, and I'm referring to the Oracle of Ominous, the architect of intellect, the manager and spiritual advisor for the GCW Tag Team Champions, the Unlucky Charms. I'm referring to the Wicked Nemesis. It took me 47 seconds to get there, which is actually above average. He has made the statement almost in a taunting fashion to Team GCW and to the underground that he will be sitting back and laughing. First off, because the Charms and he are not involved in this cage elimination, they won't be the ones shedding the blood. But they feel for any member, actually, I think his exact words were, I almost feel for you if you actually try to challenge for the tag titles after this event because you'll never be the same again. Words like that coming from the Wicked Nemesis. Jake Cole, what do they mean to you? What does the unlucky charms mean to me? The words from the wicked nemesis. The words from the wicked nemesis. What do they mean to me? I'll tell you what they mean to me. They mean nothing. They're just like garbage, remnants, scraps. They're nothing to me. Anything he says, he's got me caught up in so much crap in my matches against the charms. So much crap in my match with Damon. He almost got my head taken off. I had a concussion and three vertebrae out of place in my spine because of the crap he pulled. He's trying to get in my head. But I'm going to tell you now, when everything's said and done, I'm going to take those belts with somebody. I don't know who's going to step beside me, but I'm going to get those belts, and I'm going to smash them in the face with one of them. How about them apples? Yeah. Oh, Hagen, your thoughts. Well, it's, it's pretty easy for him to get under people's skin because he does a lot of talking. But the only problem is that the only people that he really smacks around are guys that can't fight back. Woo! The guys that can't really you know do anything about it. Woo! guys that talk a lot of trash back to him. Woo! My main purpose is like he can just talk and talk and talk, but it's like an airplane flying around King Kong. I mean, he could take the time to swat it away and it would be no big deal. It's just mainly just an annoyance. Or you could just sit there and just let it sit there and be like, me, 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 me. That's all it is to me. It's just talk. I, I, open, with, 
Yeah, it's about I mean, he's got to realize everything in life is not thumbtacks and jackrabbits. Hell no. There's only one no. king. I mean, I've held those tag team titles for over a year. What what have they had them for? Like a month? Two months? I mean, they're, they're sitting there saying, you know, we're the greatest tag team champions. No one can beat us. No one can beat us. I stepped in the ring with both of them. I'm not scared. I did a handicap match against the Unlucky Charms. I'm not scared of either one of them. I'm not scared of both of them at the same time. So for him to say that he hates for anyone to get in the ring with the Unlucky Charms after this cage match, I get in the ring with both of them at the same time with my feet tied together, one arm tied to my butt with a patch on one eye and a paper clip holding my tongue to my lip. You know what? And that's coming from a man who's been a tag team champ. He's had more partners than Jenna Jameson. Hello. <laughs> and he's been and, he, and he's been a champion at all. Now we did take up a little collection because back in Palmerdale, Wicked Nemesis' his hair wasn't looking like it always did. He, his dapper Dan hairdo wasn't sticking up the whole like a cockstone. So what we're going to do? We did take up a little money and we did get some. Uh, some sexy hair product for him, and that way his hair will be a natural sticking up thing. And, you know, that way he can look good, and he can be the mouthpiece. Now, you know, I do respect the guy, but I've never seen somebody make people more naturally, <clears throat> natural boy, you know, uh, you just really get under your skin a little bit. It, it make you want to bleach your hair and dress up like your favorite wrestler, except it's not Halloween back in December. And, you know, you just get your hair pulled out and it's fluffed to look like a baby rabbit. You know, a rabbit mama trying to raise its baby. It's got a little beard going on right like there. There was fluff flying everywhere. But naturally, boy, what I'm trying to say to you is, <laughs> watch out. Watch out now. Watch out. You know, I, I, he can't hold his own with that. But, you know, Jeremy Foster broke my uh, Chris Knox, his nose, the other night at Tarrant. You know, and his nose being broken, bleeding like that, was uh, almost as shocking as Chavo Guerrero and Super Max Hernandez coming to the ring yep. to run Luke Gallows and Micah Taylor and J.J. Boom Boom Tanner out of the ring. But, uh, you know, both those guys are tough. But, uh, you know, you guys don't have a dog in this fight. So, yeah, sit back, watch, and enjoy. And maybe you can pick up a couple of... Uh, uh, tough moves to do because, you know, this battle's been going on for a long time. Longer than Knox has even been in this business. Now, he's an MMA guy before he got in this business. Right. But, uh, you know, this this is this is old school. You've heard of old money. Well, this is old school wrestling. Just like at the Battle Auditorium back on Monday nights, except it's happening in Pell City. With the wrestling company who does wrestling shows all over the place. This is our territory. Territory. It's a word that a lot of people don't understand. Look it up in the dictionary. And, for, oh, I just want to throw a shot out there. Maybe a shout. I don't know. There's a certain dickwad that keeps uh, saying he's going to take over our town. Well, look, you're trying to take it from the underground GCW and the fans of Global Championship Wrestling. So first off, what you need to do is get on high spots and get your pair of boots and come to train at the only training school in Alabama, and maybe you get your little training done, and then uh, then maybe you can get in the ring and learn to be a wrestler before you think you're a promoter. Because, you know, there's one dog in this town, and it ain't you. It's going to happen. If you want to see a real wrestling show, May 25th, Hell City Civic Center, Global Warfare number three, count them, one, two, three. Two, three. We've been there for ten years. Ten years we've been in Pell City at the Civic Center, and we're going nowhere. We started at the bottom, now we're here! <laughs> See, I'm... Take that to the bank, Beretta. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, knock this... Knock... Knock this chip off our shoulder. We dare you. And for the record, I'll add my two cents worth by saying you can listen to Thriller Beat It all you want to. He ain't got a clue on how to take Pell City. 
There is one company that has electrified the Pell City Civic Center. There is one company that has rocked the walls of the Pell City Civic Center. There is one company that has blown the roof off the Pell City Civic Center for a number of years. And we're not a fly-by-night company that'll be, oh, we'll go to Raglan. Oh, we'll go to Jasper one week after the next. No. People know where we're going to be. Because Global Championship Wrestling is has been and forever will be the real deal in professional wrestling for somebody who thinks they want to try to change that little fact you don't even get a d on your report card you go straight to the f line and that's all i'm going to say about that you might just end up being flatlined if you know what i mean plain and simple clear this saturday I night <laughs> you say popsicle oh, you you said clear. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, you didn't. You're not going to do it. Not tonight. Fan, 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 fan. Sandbox. <laughs> oh, oh, no, that's just as bad for him. I'm getting after dust. Folks, you've got a lot of action that's going to take place this Saturday night in Pell City, Alabama. The Equalizer is going to be taking on the Scum Critter. The man who proudly wears the red, white, and blue. Representing the U.S. Armed Forces, Chris Jacobs will be taking on the Russian War Machine. The GCW Tag Team Championships will be on the line this Saturday night, May 25th, as part of Global Warfare 3. The Unlucky Charms, Damon Christopher, Chris Knox, managed by the Wicked Nemesis, defending against Full Throttle, Trevor Eon, Joey Lightning. In one-on-one action, Scotty Blaze takes to the sky... But the King of Swing looks to ground him as Scotty Blaze takes on Johnny Swinger. And speaking of the High Flyer versus the Ultimate Ground Attack, the Latin sensation Antonio Garza takes on the Mystic from San Monique. Mudbone is back at GCW Saturday night, May 25th. And in the main event, Six on six, the challenge is there in a cage elimination. Two men start out. Every two minutes, another person gets added to the fray. However, you can be eliminated by pinfall, by submission tap out, or if you are rendered unable to continue, and the referee will make that call. I know how many combustible elements are in play. And yeah, I'm using that phrase again. Explosion. (laughs) I'm sorry, kids, and I'm going to be politically incorrect. Hiroshima was an explosion. We're about to make that. We're about to. (laughs) Too soon. Great. Y'all can run the gimmicks all you want to. And I turn around and make one loose reference and I get crucified again. In the, words, in the words of Bart Simpson, I caramba. The Asian people just turned off GCW. No, they just all turned that <laughs> Thanks a lot, Eddie. Thanks a lot. Great. Way to go. Those three people are not coming back. Jerry Chang and Tyson Pepper. They are now they are now cutting us off. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I love about being a part of Global Championship Wrestling. I can Boy, sorry, Mr. Sakata. Say, well, hold on. Who said what? O'Hagan? You said this what I like about GCW. I said, what, insulting minorities? Thanks a lot, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw a heavy object at y'all away from the show. I don't care if it's a grilled guess. chicken. Let me guess, an A-ball? <laughs> a what? <laughs> Maybe if your phone, <laughs> maybe if your phone connection were better, I would have understood all that. <laughs> uh, uh, good not one. My phone connection. It's the studio. <laughs> it, it's the Dioc Broadcasting. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we bl- when in doubt, blame Skype. Right, right. Real quick, O'Hagan. Out of the, uh, aside from the main event, which match are you looking forward to most to seeing, and who do you think is going to pull it out? Um, A win that is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, no problem. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Um, I'm actually interested in the tag team match. As much as, uh, I mean, I, I'm not going to really say one way or the other, but as much as Nemesis likes to run his mouth about how they're the greatest tag team and how uh, no one's going to beat them and no one can you know, take the tag titles, I'm interested to see exactly how much of that they can actually back up. And uh, they've been tested, and they've been in a, a, a lot of tough matches, and you see him kind of, you know, interject himself more than one time. But I want to see how well the Charms can really just put it to him by themselves and not ever have to have, you know, have Nemesis on stage. Let's just see what they can do by themselves. If they're so big and bad, I want to see him, you know, put the money where the mouth is. Jake Cole, which match are you looking forward to seeing? Domestic Bloodbone and Antonio Garza. Yeah. You got to say dig it while you're in there. Dig it. <laughs> while you're, hey, remember, while you're in there, you got to say dig it. Pretty much. <laughs> also, this, this part might be my last time I get to talk before you guys kill my First Amendment rights. But I'm bringing. A fork. All right. Fork. Just remember I said that. Okay. Bring a fork. Should should I jump on? Should should I take this one, or oh, does anybody else want to? Yeah, you should you should jump on that one, Eddie. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> Mad Dog, which match are you most looking forward to seeing outside of the main event? Well, it's a Deep South wrestling feud. That was the original Georgia WWE Developmental League. Johnny Swinger wrestling Scotty Blaze. Now, this match was supposed to happen like two or three years ago, but Blaze blew out his knee and disappeared for a little bit of time. We may remember that. So, here we are. We're going to get to see it. Scotty Blaze taking on Johnny Swinger. Excited about that one. Excited. I'm looking for excited. I don't know. Can if, you, if, if Cole is bringing a fork, I'm bringing a spoon. I'm bringing a spatula. Good one. Well, I'm old kitchen crew there. We're gonna treatment. be cooking up some underwear crew. Mm. Well, that sounds a lot like one man. So you better be careful. Uh, <laughs> okay. You'll be getting the PayPal bill. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> I, I do want to say one thing. Go ahead. Underground, you need to get online and find out about a muffler in professional wrestling. <laughs> because we're going to beat y'all so bad, you're all going to be wishing y'all wore a muffler. And I'm not talking about John Noward talking about the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, because we're going to beat your muffler out. Oh, man, my muffler done fell out. So when you're riding, Sandra Stone, when you're riding that unicycle back home, you're going to be wishing you were on a bicycle. He got a bicycle. He's going to wish he had a popsicle because he's going to want to be icing them gums down. Whoa. <laughs> Let's get ready to take it home. Closing thoughts for all the way around the table. Jake Cole, you're on. You're up to bat. Michael Taylor, I've waited for this moment for quite a while since we fought January 5th in Palmerdale. I learned a lot of things from fighting you. I've been watching your matches. And I've been watching you run your freaking mouth with all those pieces of trash you call wrestlers and your little coalition of crap. I want you to know that J. Cole is going to be out of control and he's bringing the fuck. Yeah. Get the fuck, get the fuck, get the fuck. Don't take my fork. Don't take my fork. Get the fuck, get the fuck. Don't take my fork. No stand with a fork. Yeah. Mr. O'Hagan, closing thoughts. We can make a lot of jokes. We can laugh about things. We can make witty comments to these guys. When I step through that cage, I promise you, I will bet you any amount of money you want to put on that you are going to see 
a Mr. Joshua O'Hagan that you have never seen before. And I'm pretty sure you're going to see a side of burning Jake Cole. High definition, Showtime Shane Fox, and one mad dog, Dan Sawyer, that you've never seen before. Underground thinks they know us. Underground thinks that they have what it takes to beat us. But the people that they think they know won't be in that cage this Saturday night in Pell City, Alabama. These are going to be some guys that are going to surprise a lot of people. And it's probably going to scare a lot of people, too. So be there on May 25th, Pell City Civic Center in Pell City, Alabama, to see a war. Mad Dog Dan Sawyer. Closing comments. This, this Saturday, it's the war to settle the score. And the score is GCW defeating the underground. This isn't one you want to read the results on the dirt sheets and wait for it to come out on Beyond Ringside on Sunday or to be determined the following Wednesday. You gotta see it to believe it. And we're making believers out of every member of the GCW audience. Whether you're Puerto Rican, Asian, Chinese, or just good old white Anglo Saxon Protestants, we're gonna make <laughs> believers out of the GCW audience because believe in GCW. I want to remind everybody, you can reserve ringside seating, which will be on a limited basis because of the cage, by sending an email to gcwmedia at yahoo.com. Once again, that is gcwmedia at yahoo.com to reserve ringside seating. It doesn't matter if it's two. It doesn't matter if it's 20. But they are on an as-available basis. Get in touch quick, because we've already had conversations with the Pell City Civic Center. We may have to bring in extra seating for this, and believe me, we'll enjoy that prospect, and we'll definitely appreciate it. But for those who like to sit ringside, allow me to remind you, anything goes in this main event. For those who are squeamish because of a Connecticut promotion having a problem with the, um, with the red stuff, there will be blood. So be forewarned. If you'd rather sit in the bleachers or make sure you sit far back, we can accommodate you. Just let us know. You've got some great matches lined up. May 25th is right around the corner. For those who have gotten the Facebook event ev invite, Tonight is English optional. My apologies. If you have friends who are wrestling fans in the state of Alabama, in western Georgia, in eastern Mississippi, in Tennessee, in northwest Florida, and they've been talking about... I'm just going to shoot like this, kids. If they're bitching, whining, moaning, and complaining about all the stuff that they're seeing on television, two hours is not too far to drive for a show like Global Warfare 3. Get away from the television set. Don't worry about the pay-per-view that nobody gives a damn about tonight. Come see a real, live, professional wrestling show with some of the most talented and gifted athletes you will ever find to ever step inside a squared circle. You've got matches which are going to give you something for everyone Saturday night, May 25th in Pell City under the banner of Global Championship Wrestling. If you like the super heavyweights, if you like the high flyers, if you like the ground and pound, if you like professional wrestling the way that it is meant to be, by stars who respect the tradition of the sport of professional wrestling and have taken it to the 21st century and are ready to go one step further than that, then your home is going to be in Pell City Saturday night, 
Bell time, 7.30 p.m. Tickets are only $10 a piece. I would invite you and I ask you to share that Facebook event invite page with your friends who are pro wrestling fans. I guarantee you they will have a good time. I guarantee you, you will have a good time. If you genuinely appreciate real professional wrestling action, your home is with Global Championship Wrestling, the company that works every day to bring you the hardest hitting, best professional wrestling action to be found anywhere. I would say this if I didn't work for the company. I challenge any promotion in the United States to stack a lineup like this. To find athletes that will give their heart, their soul, their blood, their sweat, their tears, their bodies on a night like tonight, May 25th. We've got them. All the joking aside, all the poking, the prodding aside, global warfare serious beyond that it gets real and a lot of your favorite gcw stars are going to be there that we haven't talked about real jj tanner will be there senior official bernie kawanowitz will be there jeff j mac mcgowan will be there tracy taylor is going to be there you the ladies world champion you never know what's going to happen don't wait for the dirt sheets Sawyer said it perfectly. Don't wait for the recap. Come see it live. Gentlemen, real quick, how can everybody find you on social media? I will start with Jake Cole. Facebook.com slash Vernon Jake Cole. Mr. O'Hagan. Well, you can find me at Facebook or at Joshua O'Hagan. You can find me on Instagram at Joshua O'Hagan. You can find me on Twitter at Mr. Joshua O'Hagan. You can find me at GCWPro.com, where you can click on my name. Nothing might happen, but you'll click on my name and you'll see it up there. Yay. <laughs> Mad Dog Dan Sawyer, we finally got you on the social networks. Put it out there. <laughs> uh, well... It's Mad Dog, one word, Dan Sawyer on Facebook. So there's only one Mad Dog Dan Sawyer. So find yeah, that. Right. Yeah, that's right. And uh, GCW Media at Yahoo.com is the way to get in touch to the office. Get yourself some tickets. First two rows are gone. So uh, come on down. Third row is waiting for you. And we are bringing in extra seats. They may be six or seven rows on each side. Uh, but. Also, the bleachers are full. The bleachers hold over 300 people themselves. So come on down. Have a good time. May 25th, Pell City Civic Center, 730. You better be there by 7 if you want to get in that door. The concessions will be open as usual uh, with the mission group putting those on. You know, you got the good Papa John's pizza, popcorn, nacho cheese, et cetera, et cetera, pickles, hot dogs, you name it, and great prices. It's a great time for family. And it's great fun, but it's going to be a battle this week. Come on out and enjoy it. Uh, the underground, they're going to get theirs. Five will get you ten, as they used to say in Foghorn Lake. I say, I say, I, I say, say, five will get you ten, son. Right there. <laughs> Come on out. Check it out. We're going crazier than the Mad Hatter. It's more than, what is that, ten six? What is that? Uh -huh. Ten six. Yep, yep. The Mad Hatter had a little hat number on his head. It said ten six. You have to go back and watch a little Alice in Wonderland. Even the one with Johnny Depp, the really good one. Uh, we're going madder than the Mad Adder. We're going Mad Dog. And there's a little Mad Dog in all of us. So come on and enjoy Global Championship Wrestling! Wrestling! <laughs> Real quick, want to remind everybody, you can find us facebook.com slash GCW Pro is our friends page. Facebook.com slash GCW Pro Wrestling is our fan page. At GCW Pro Wrestling over on Twitter. And of course, your home for everything Global Championship Wrestling is GCWPro.com. Personally, at Fast Eddie Lane, L A Y N E over on Twitter. Follow at your own risk. 
Facebook.com slash Fast Eddie Lane. And by the way, you knew I'd have to get these in. Tuesday night, I'll see everybody at the Iron Horse in Mon- on Montgomery Highway in Hoover, Alabama. Friday nights, Buffalo Wild Wings and Alabaster. This coming Saturday, you doggone right. And folks, I want to remind you, right here on the Beyond Ringside Radio Network, Wednesday night, 10 Eastern, 7, um, 7 Pacific, Wicked Nemesis, Tasha Simone, Mad Dog Matt Denton will be joined by Micah Taylor and members of the Underground. You can hear it right here on BeyondRingside.com and the Beyond Ringside Radio Network. Remember, Beyond Ringside Radio is active 24-7. Just click over on G- on BeyondRingside.com. Sorry about that. I had a program go down and I had to bring it back up real quick. Don't say it, O'Hagan. I figured O'Hagan would get that shot in. I didn't think you would take it. What is this? What is this? Lamb based Eddie hey, Knight? Alice. Okay, wait a minute. It's gonna it's gonna be a bigger eruption than Mount St. Helens. Is that politically correct enough for y'all? Yep. Oh, okay. sure. Okay. As long as we're good. Saturday night, make your plans. We're looking forward to seeing everybody in Pell City at the Civic Center for Global Warfare 3. Four. Hey. Four. Out of control, Jake Cole. Good boy. Crank it. From Mr. O'Hagan. Thanks, Daryl B. From Mad Dog Dan Sawyer. Dogs got the leash, dogs got to bite, dogs in the ring, and dogs got to fight. May 20th is him. At the Pell City Civic Center. This is the Magic City Motormouth GCW Commissioner Fast Study Lane saying, Until next time, adios, das fadanya, hasta luego, auf Wiedersehen, ciao, sayonara, adieu, adivadarchi, farewell, I've seen you, au revoir, and until we meet again, aloha means bye bye. We'll see you next time as we go ringside and beyond with Global Championship Wrestling right here on GCW Radio. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>